What's up everybody, I'm 720p here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a professional avatar for YouTube, much like the one I have on my screen now. It won't be exactly the same because this is my personal edition of it, but it will be much like it. The first thing you want to do is open a new canvas with a 500 by 500 pixel ratio. I have tried this a couple times already, but I think my settings were wrong in Camstasia and it didn't work very well. You're just going to want to make your background black and then you're going to want to make a new layer for text. Uh, I'm going to use an X. You can use whatever you like. But after you have it, just try to center it up a little bit and then hit Control T and hold your shift button. And you're going to. Oh, no, no, no. Let's retry that. Control T, Shift. Let's drag it up. You're gonna have to make it pretty big to fit your canvas right, and you'll see by what I made in a second. That should be plenty big. Right about there. And you're just gonna hit Apply, and then you're gonna come over here to your uh, your X or whatever you made and go to blending options whenever that comes up you're gonna go to bevel one and bus and click both of them and it's gonna put some the Grammy layer on there you're just gonna click on your texture and click this one it's a smooth marble and if you don't have that option just click your little right arrow key and go down to where it says rock patterns and click OK and it'll be the third one on the bottom like right here okay and then you're gonna click uh, you're gonna click color overlay and you're gonna want to change it from the red to like a Like almost a black, but more or less a grayish color, I guess you could say. And then you're gonna go to outline glow and click this, and you're gonna make it a white. And you're gonna change your pixel ratio here to a seven. That way, you have a little bit of it on each side. Okay, now you're gonna click a new layer, so you're not on your text layer when you do this. Go to your brush tool, come to your sizes, and you're going to want to pick the number 7 soft brush. Okay, and then you're going to click right here for your brush options to pop up. And you're going to want to click scattering and make sure smoothing is on. And whenever it says spacing, turn it to about. Uh, 33 to 34%. Okay, and then you're just going to flip this over to white for now. I mean, it doesn't matter what color you do it in at the moment. And then you're just going to go across here. Then go back around here. And then go back down here. It's okay how it is now. We'll fix all that in just a second. And then you're going to right click this and go to your blending options. And you're gonna go to gradient overlay. You're gonna double click this, and then you're gonna left click the bottom. That's gonna be the bottom layer here. So say I wanted to make a purplish one. Let's click. Uh, let's make that a little darker. Okay, and then you'll click this side. And you want to get it about where it matches a good percentage, like so. And then you're going to do an outer glow, no, uh, inner glow. An inner glow of it, 
and then you're just gonna get your inner glow and then whenever you do this after you already pick your color out it works the best I think and you're just gonna go back and get one near about the same color and then you're just gonna click your OK button and then what you're gonna wanna do you can zoom in if you want to but you're gonna get the number 19 hard brush in your eraser out I'm just gonna zoom in about midway so that way I can actually see what I'm doing and then you're not going to want to take too much off you're just going to want to take enough off of this area here where it looks like it's going up under this part of the X and coming out over this part but you're going to take it off this side too that way it's coming under the top and we're going to leave it on the middle and you're going to want to zoom out and then zoom back in on this bottom part we're going to take it off this one be careful what you're doing if you mess up just hit hold control alt and z it will remove the last step and you can keep hitting it to remove your steps okay and we're going to leave it on that last one alright so now you got the effect of it coming around over the middle uh, under the bottom part okay we're almost done guys and this is when you can do this layer and, th and hit your control button to click this layer and link layers okay and then you can do the same thing again and merge layers that way you have one layer with your picture and you can actually move it around and it stays solid where you want it to and this is when you're gonna get your text again this is a very important part because if you make your text too tall it will not work and this is about too tall for me so I'm gonna make my text about 86 um, Mine's just going to say I'm 720p, like so. Then I'm going to try to get it sort of in the middle, I guess you could say. And then you're going to click that, that way it sits still. And then you can take your thing. Actually, I'll show you the easy way to do it. Just duplicate a layer and click OK. That way you have a complete duplicate of the layer. Okay, and then make sure you have your second layer clicked and then hit control T and click your top until where you think it might be about even and hit apply and then you're just going to drag it up and it you'll see how it sits in the place Mine's not exactly even, so I'm just going to drag it down a little bit more, like so, and then I'm going to apply. Okay, so you got your little mirror effect going right now. Okay, so the next thing that you're going to do to actually give it that mirror effect, you're going to come down here and click the one between the gradient layer and the FX button. It's a little square with the orange, or not your orange, but a white dot in the middle of it. Then you're going to come to your bucket, you're going to right click it and go back to your gradient tool. And you're going to want to click this one that has like a white color to it. It's going to actually give it the background effect. You're going to hold your shift key and go to about the bottom to the seventh to the top. Oh, no, no. This one, not the white one. I'm sorry. It's about right there, I guess you could say. And it's going to give it that shadow effect in the bottom, which actually gives it that really professional look. Okay, guys, that wraps up the tutorial on how to make a professional looking avatar for YouTube. Thank you guys for watching. Please thumb up the video, favorite it, and subscribe. I did a lot of, put a lot of hard work in my videos, and I hope you guys enjoy it. I love it when you sub it. I'm 720p out.